heal pain and the back starts nerve. There are many reasons why the patient can have pain around the heel of the foot. It is important to make the correct diagnosis of the cause of the heel pain so that appropriate treatment can be given to the patient. What is the most common causes of heel pain? Number one, pexter nerve compression. Number two, plantar fasciitis. Number three, fed pad atrophy. Number four, Achilles tendinitis. Number five, stress fractures of the calcaneus. Number six, lumbar spine radiculopathy. Here are the most common location areas of the heel pain. You can see that the sites and the location from different causes of the pain appear to be close to each other at the heel area. It may be difficult to determine the source of the pain and this makes the diagnosis difficult or confusing. Summary of common conditions causing heel pain. Plantar fasciitis. Irritation and the swelling of the thick tissue at the bottom of the foot, the tissue called the plantar fascia. This fascia can become inflamed and painful, making walking more difficult. Plantar fasciitis is most severe in the morning when the patient first stands on their feet. Stretching exercises or walking often helps in relieving the painful tightening associated with plantar fasciitis. Pain symptoms will intensify with prolonged exercises or standing. There will be immediate calcaneal tuberosity tenderness, as indicated in this circle. Plantar fasciitis is usually associated with a tight heel cord. In fat pad atrophy, the fat that cushions the calcaneus is thinned. This condition is common in the elderly and can cause significant pain while walking. Patient may have a history of multiple steroid injections in the heel. Another common condition that causes heel pain is Achilles tendinitis. Chronic injury to the tendon that joins the heel to the muscles of the lower leg usually occurs from overuse. The Achilles tendon gives us the ability to rise up on our toes, allowing for walking. And Achilles tendinitis can make walking painful and difficult. Stress fractures. Stress fractures of the calcaneus can occur due to overuse injuries. The patient will experience weight-bearing pain. Stress fracture injuries of the heel are typical of running sports due to repetitive shock being placed on the heel. Side-to-side -side compression of the calcaneus is painful. How about lumbar spine radiculopathy? Pain on the lateral side of the foot can result from L5-S1 radiculopathy. That will cause herniation of S1 nerve root and causes decreased sensation and pain on the lateral aspect of the foot. How about Baxter's nerve? The Baxter's nerve is the first branch of the lateral plantar nerve. The Baxter's nerve contributes to 20% of all heel pain cases. And this nerve provides motor innervation to the abductor digiti minimi muscle. When the nerve is affected by compression, the symptoms appear to look like plantar fasciitis. Involvement of the Pexter's nerve 
may affect running athletes, causing pain on the medial plantar aspect. Although entrapment of the Baxter nerve may cause up to 20% of heel pain, this condition is usually overlooked. Course of the Baxter's nerve. The first branch of the lateral plantar nerve is the inferior calcanean nerve, Baxter's nerve. The nerve courses vertically between the abductor hallucis and the quadratus plantae muscles. Then it makes a 90 degree horizontal turn, coursing laterally beneath the calcaneus to innervate the abductor digiti minimi muscle. The Baxter's nerve can become entrapped within the medial heel. The entrapment will result in heel pain, parathesia, abnormal sensation on the plantar aspect, which is the bottom of the heel, and medial heel tenderness. Two sites of entrapment are typical with Baxter's nerve impingement. First site located between the fascia of the abductor hallucis and the quadratus plantae muscle. The second site is where the nerve passes along the anterior aspect of the medial calcaneal tuberosity. On this diagram, you can see the typical two sites of entrapment of the Baxter's nerve. Treatment. Management is usually conservative. Patient can do heel stretching exercises, rest, non anti-inflammatory medications, orthotics. Surgery. Surgery is the last resort with neurolysis of the nerve after release of the deep fascia of the abductor hallucis muscle. There is a good to excellent result in about 90% of patients after decompression of the nerve. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.